but the bible says let the word of christ colossians 3 verse 16 dwell in you richly so i want to ask you a question how did the disciples grow in the word when jesus resurrected hallelujah let's write number one requirement to fulfilling your god-given destiny the first requirement is an encounter with jesus a genuine encounter with jesus not coming out for an altar call that's important but an encounter with jesus john 7 when you read john 7 john 3 i'm sorry verse 7 actually it's 3 to 7 john chapter 3 the encounter that nicodemus had with jesus now understand this the context of that scripture is very interesting because nicodemus was a teacher of the law nicodemus was a doctor he was a philosopher he was intelligent he was a graduate he was even employed nicodemus was not a small man he was a man of influence but every time together with his colleagues they kept insulting jesus castigating jesus but they were secret fears and frustration nicodemus got to a point where his life was not making sense and then he sneaked in by night and came to jesus and then he says rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things except god be with him and then jesus said verily verily i say unto you right he said except ye be born again you shall not see the kingdom of god now he, he begins to talk how can i be born again will i enter into my mother's womb and then verse 5 he now says um you know verily verily i say unto you except ye be born of the water and of the spirit then you cannot enter the kingdom right then jesus now begins to speak and all of that and says the wind blow it where it listed verse 7 that's where i'm really going to verse 7 this is what he said marvel not that i say unto you ye must be born again it didn't say ye may it didn't say ye should being born again is not an advice being born again is a requirement writing jam is not an advice writing jam is a requirement having five credits no story is not an advice are we together is the necessary and sufficient condition to gain admission let me tell you life has requirements there is a cut off point the starting point is born again it's amazing how many people want to walk with god but they don't want to be born again they want to be around church they want to be around the things of god they want to have christian names being born again is more than just confessing jesus being born again is prioritizing god that god becomes your obsession your priority and your motivation there's no hope of leaving him that's born again because he, he he explained it he said you must be born of two things the water and the spirit the water there represents the ministry of the word the cleansing power of the word an encounter with the holy ghost being born again is not just cheap talk where you just come and stand i believe in you you are pinching yourself and laughing it may be a starting point but i'm telling you being born again is much more than jesus becoming one of those important deities there is a herbalist at home there is jesus there is the charm it's just that he's the most important of all of them you are not born again please i'm saying this whether you are listening here and you are or you are following online if you have any other charm any other talisman any other material point of reference point of of activating the realm of the spirit outside of christ and everything that is consistent with his character you are not born again very simple are we together dear you can't tell me you are born again and then under certain conditions you can receive something you know and many of us listen many of us young people you may be laughing at me but there's something they gave you from home they say look life this life is more than what you are seeing that is true you need help that is true but the, where the problem starts is what you are giving they pray for you and give you a bible and then they squeeze one charm that looks like an arrow they tell you to put it under your box you are not born again no sir 
see let me tell you anything that the Lord Jesus cannot bring in your life don't let anybody fool you that it will happen it may look like it's happening but you see because Jesus said I am the door do you know what that means I am the legal access point to everything in the kingdom he never said I am the only one he said I am the door any other person can enter the house through windows but there is always a side effect you will not see it yet until the charm starts working so the charm will give you money and take your fertility are you getting the point now that's not the discussion with the herbalist he himself does not know the side effect because he is practicing so you collect the charm you start building the house but then you find out that you cannot give birth again or you give birth to 12 children and none of them become useful any other door listen there are many like this place now if we see you smuggling yourself through this window we know you are an armed robber you are a thief are we together there is a legitimate entrance don't tell me you are entering which way are you following jesus said i am the door i am the door don't tell me you are getting rich don't tell me you are getting blessed don't tell me you are increasing it matters to me whether you are following the door then i will know whether your success will have side effect on me let me tell you don't come close to anybody until you study the systems around his life and how he is doing what he is doing how she is doing what she is doing are we together now an encounter with jesus when you encounter jesus you will not only love him you will follow him you will not only love him you will serve him you will not only love him you will live for him you will not only love him you will influence others into that encounter with him has nothing to do with ministry has nothing to do with being a man of god it is the effect of an encounter when saul of tarsus in the book of acts had an encounter with the lord jesus christ it changed his life forever remember what's the name of that short man in the bible Zacchaeus when Zacchaeus had an encounter with Jesus what happened he changed his life forever Zacchaeus just come down I'm going to your house at once Zacchaeus changed when he met the centurion he changed there were other people I believe that Jesus met that were not recorded in the Bible because you see the way they had a soft spot towards him. One of them was Joseph of Arimathea. I believe he was a great man and because he was Caesar's friend, you can liken it to being in the same political party. So he would not be outspoken about Jesus, but secretly, secretly he loved him. Have you had an encounter with Jesus? enough to fuel your life for a lifetime if the lifespan do you know it's a terrible thing when people love God on campus or love God before marriage I have seen many people who used to love God on campus you see them today they are hardly born again some were campus fellowship presidents some held crusades have you seen some of our parents you see them drinking beer and you say daddy do something about it say look i held crusade in benin i held crusade in abuja i did three days dry you see them giving you what is supposed to be a good accolade and they say i've tried everything so don't even bring this issue of man of god you are just starting before you were born we served god have you heard of ebenezer obey i was in his band have you heard of uh, so 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 and so i i sang there they carry the pain of their frustration and make it look as though it's serving god that brought that to them it's a terrible thing for someone to say i once was with god and now i've left him no sir he said, ye who have continued with me. Not those who started. Ye who have continued with me. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Lord, I'm with you forever. I'm with you forever. I'm with you forever. Mm. Lift your voice and pray. I need you to secure your place. Because some of us are already one leg in, one leg out. The pain of recession is about sweeping you. Ah! Jesus, Jesus, how I trust you, how I prove the oracle. Jesus, 
Jesus, precious Jesus, oh for grace to trust. Lift your voice and say, Lord, what shall separate me from your love? Not famine, uh -uh. not CGPA, not recession. I am with you and I am with you forever. Whether things work well or not, whether means.